Hello YouTube, uh, this is a video I'm putting together for Bluebeard 2011 uh, looking at his video Nibiru seen with the naked eye update. Uh, just taking a look at the uh, clip from this video which is uh, about 12 minutes long uh, we'll just have a listen to this first. Now this is as I said the strange thing um, I can't work out whether this is the same or this one is the same orbiting body that I've been seeing either way it is still getting closer but what really gets me is that that is what I originally saw was those three positional planets but much further out now yet that orbiting body there has orbiting bodies it's not one of our planets it does not belong uh, okay I'll just stop that there and I'll just take it back a little bit I can't so work out whether this those, is the uh, same or again. this one is the same orbiting body that I've been seeing either way it is still getting closer but what really gets me okay so here we've got a good shot um, showing a little bit of daylight there we can see the edge of the roof um, we can see the date is um, 10th of July 2012 uh, we've got a bit of uh, um, bit of light in the sky here now somebody has asked the question further down um, what direction in the morning uh, is it to the east and Bluebeard has answered east and that section at the end of the video proves that it was not any of our planets um, sorry what I'm looking for is this what time in the morning um, can I see this what direction is it and Bluebeard has answered sunrise of the east of Australia so we're looking east and it's at sunrise okay so what we're going to have a look at now this is uh, an astronomy software program a professional uh, astronomy software program called Starry Night Pro I've set my location to Sydney Australia and we've got the time set at 6.35 a.m. local time now we can see um, Jupiter and Venus in the sky here in the morning sky Venus is the very brightest object as far as objects that look like stars go it's very bright very noticeable and the next brightest object is Jupiter we'll just go back to the video again have a quick look I want you to note the location of the um, of these objects we've got this one here which is supposed to be the uh, Nibiru object and then we've got this very bright one here on the right which uh, is actually Venus this is Jupiter and this is Venus and this is a star called uh, Aldebaran um, so we'll go back to Starry Night here's Jupiter here's Venus on the right and here is Aldebaran let's just see how that's pronounced if I'm pronouncing that correctly Aldebaran Aldebaran there we go um, now the other thing I noticed in some of the zooms is that there is a small star below the Nibiru object which Nibiru is actually Jupiter in the video this little star here is coming up and you can see on the screen now it's actually uh, Omega Tauri um, so we definitely do have the planets in the sky at that time of the morning this is uh, Sydney uh, 635 uh, on the 10th of July and uh, you can see that we're actually looking northeast at that time is east out this way northeast and if I wind the time back you can see I'm actually going backwards in time here so the these planets were actually just rising over the horizon at, at that time of the morning um, and as we get a little bit later on we've got the Sun coming up soon and so the sky is getting lighter as we see in uh, Bluebeard's video and there is the Sun coming up there so this is definitely Jupiter and Venus in the video um, there's no doubt about that uh, you can tell from the um, the position of the the other stars uh, around these planets there's no doubt in my mind that that's what they are so it's definitely not uh, Nibiru and um, so I hope hope that's helpful and uh, any questions just uh, pop me a question and I'll do my best to answer thank you